In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on November 25th, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Tennessee vs. Kansas. A pair of ranked teams meet in the championship game of the battle for Atlantis on the college hardwood when the Southeastern Conference battles the Big 12. The number 22 Tennessee Volunteers are the road team as they battle the number 3 Kansas Jayhawks when the teams collide in an island paradise Friday night. Kansas held on for a 69-68 overtime win over Wisconsin in their semifinal matchup Thursday morning, though they failed to cover the line as a 7.5 point favorite. Tennessee knocked off USC 73-66 in overtime in their semifinal matchup, though they failed to cover as an 8.5 point favorite Thursday afternoon. In the all-time series between the programs, the Jayhawks own a 4-2 advantage, but the Volunteers picked up an 80-61 home win in the most recent matchup on January 30, 2021. The Kansas Jayhawks are 6-0 this season after they defeated Wisconsin in overtime by a score of 69-68 in their last game. Kansas shot 38.7% from the field and was plus 7 in rebounding margin in the win. The Kansas Jayhawks are averaging 80 points per game, 67 points against per game, 40.8 rebounds per game, and 19 points four assists per game. Jalen Wilson has led the Jayhawks this season with 23 points per game, 9.6 rebounds per game, and 3.8 assists per game. Kansas is shooting 48% from the field, 63.6% on free throws, and 36.1% on three-pointers this year. The Tennessee Volunteers are 4-1 to this season after they defeated USC in overtime by a score of 73-66 to in their last game. Tennessee shot 37.5% from the field and forced 20 turnovers in the game. The Tennessee Volunteers are averaging 73 points per game, 54 points against per game, 38.3 rebounds per game, and 16.5 assists per game. Josiah Jordan James has led the Volunteers this season with 14 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 1.7 steals per game. Tennessee is shooting 39.8% from the field, 74.2% on free throws, and 31.9% on three-pointers this this year. This should be a fantastic matchup to watch between two top 25 teams in the battle for Atlantis championship game. Kansas barely snuck by Wisconsin on Thursday and needed a last second put back for the win. Tennessee struggled with USC, but was able to pull away in overtime. Prior to their win against Wisconsin, Kansas was shooting the ball very well, but they only shot 38% from the field against the Badgers. Tennessee has been stout on defense this season and has only allowed more than 50 points in two games. Both teams rebound the ball about the same, but Tennessee has been able to force steals at a much higher rate than Kansas. I get the case to be made for Kansas here as the Jayhawks are stacked, but they're having serious cover issues and have let much less hang around more often than not and the lone time they covered a game this season was in a pick em spot against Duke. Tennessee is still a solid group with experience and a great coach, and I think the Vols are more than capable of getting themselves a cover here. This should be a good game, so the Tennessee Volunteers to cover the spread is our full game side pick. Both teams are coming off overtime victories on Thursday so that means they are going to be tied and begin to miss shots throughout the game that typically are made for them. Both teams have also been playing well on the defensive end of the court as the Jayhawks are allowing 67 points per game while the Vols are giving up 54 points per game this season. Defense is going to prevail in this matchup. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Connecticut vs. Alabama Connecticut will play Alabama in Portland on Friday night. This game will be a second-round game for the Phil Knight Invitational Tournament. 
The Connecticut Huskies are 6-0 this season after they defeated Oregon by a score of 83-59 in their last game. Connecticut led by a score of 39-28 at halftime and was able to outscore Oregon by a total of 44-31 in the second half for the easy win. Connecticut shot 47.6% from the field, was plus 6 in rebounding margin, and forced 17 turnovers in the game. The UCON and Huskies are averaging 87 points per game, 57 points against per game, 40.4 rebounds per game and 19 assists per game. Adama Sanogo had led the Huskies this season with 21 points per game, 8 rebounds per game, and 1.2 steals per game. Connecticut is shooting 51.4% from the field, 71.7% on free throws, and 36.4% on three-pointers this year. The Alabama Crimson Tide are 5-0 this season after they defeated Michigan State by a score of 81-70 in their last game. Alabama trailed for most of the first half in this game, but finished the first half strong and outscored Michigan State by a total of 39 to 33 in the second half for the win. Alabama shot 44.4% from the field, forced 11 turnovers, and was minus 2 in rebounding margin in the game. The Alabama Crimson Tide are averaging 85 points per game, 57 and a half points against per game, 56 rebounds per game, and 14.5 assists per game. Brandon Miller has led the Crimson Tide this season with 20 points per game. 9.3 rebounds per game, and 2.3 assists per game. Alabama is shooting 43.1% from the field, 71.4% on free throws, and 33.6% on three-pointers this year. Even though both these teams are undefeated, Alabama has proven they are a top team by beating the Spartans by double digits. The Huskies' blowout of Oregon was a solid win, but the Ducks still have struggled this season. The Crimson Tide have been building a strong basketball team for some time, and their team looks like it will once again be very strong this year. Alabama is the more battle-tested team, and the Crimson Tide also have the better resume coming into this game. So the Alabama Crimson Tide to cover the spread is our full game side pick. Both these teams have been impressive defensively this season. Alabama has held three of their first five opponents to less than 60 points, and the Crimson Tide held a solid Michigan State team to 38.7% shooting from the field in their last victory. The Huskies have also been strong defensively, holding five of their six opponents to 60 points or less. UConn held Oregon to just 42.6% shooting from the field. Both of these teams are also likely to play with more intensity than usual since this will be a big game. This should be a lower score game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Oregon vs. Michigan State The Oregon Ducks and the Michigan State Spartans meet Friday in college basketball action from Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Oregon is 2-3 so far this year. The Ducks are coming off a loss to UConn. As for Michigan State, they're sitting at 3-2 this year and coming off a loss to Alabama. On Thursday, the Spartans were worn out by the second half versus a good Alabama team and never really got control of the game. Michigan State ended up with a sketchy 38.1% shooting and a 45-43% rebounding advantage. Granted, the Spartans probably should have performed better and I like them to bounce back here. As for Oregon, there was really no way they were going to be close in the UConn loss Thursday. The Huskies shot a brisk 47.6% from the floor and 45.9% from three-point range and the Ducks couldn't keep up. The Spartans are the better team, and Michigan State should benefit in this game from having played a very tough schedule. Michigan State has already played Gonzaga, Kentucky, and Alabama so far this year. Oregon has lost every game they have played against tougher competition so far this season. The Ducks have been very inconsistent so far this year, and Michigan State should be focused with extra motivation off their first double-digit loss of the season. Tom Izzo coaches hard, and he should get a response from his team here against an Oregon team that didn't look good even close to home in the first round and that has struggled all year. So the Michigan State Spartans to cover the spread is our full game side pick. Michigan State struggled defensively in their double-digit loss to Alabama in the opening round of the Phil Knight tournament, giving up 81 points to the Crimson Tide. The Spartans should respond in this game, and Oregon has been inconsistent all year on offense. The Ducks have failed to score 60 points this season three times, all games against tougher competition. The Michigan State defense should be able to limit Oregon's very inconsistent offense in this game. Michigan State has been solid defensively this season. The Spartans' defense should be able to control this game. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, 
and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.